forget expressing. six, forget New York City, it's just about Trader Joe's. Together, baby, we're better, we're better together, together we're better. Well, good morning vlog, it's been a hot minute. Um, I'm currently in the back seat with Gianna and Christina. They, they can't see you, so you're going to have to make some noise or something. Oh. <laughs> That's not the noise you can say. <laughs> All right. You know what that's giving? That, that's giving? It's giving um, Robert on the Zoom call play going, ooze, ooze. Every time he wanted to talk because he knew the screen would switch to him. <laughs> um, Gianna, what do you want? We're um, getting coffee. our coffee orders coffee. in coffee. right now. And I think we have to run to CVS, but then we'll be getting on the road. I don't know why I held up three fingers for that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting an everything bagel with cream cheese. Aww. Friendship, friendship, just a perfect friendship. I'm going to end this clip here, and we'll talk to you guys later. Now I'm in the car by myself. I'm eating my bagel. My Duncan. And Gianna and Christina have gone into CVS to get, I think, Christina's prescription. We have to pick that up before we go down to New Jersey. Oh, for a second, I thought that was them coming out. I was like, that was way too quick. <clears throat> but anyway, so I'm sitting back here in the back seat with all this stuff. Living life. <laughs> um, but I thought I would pop on here to tell you to like, subscribe, comment down below. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the video because it will pick up, I promise. <laughs> Your body right. <laughs> back streets back. All right. <laughs> Hi vlog. Um, what time is it? One o'clock? Exactly. One o'clock. We have three hours left. We're in Connecticut. Have a Connecticut party. Woo! There we go. Thank you, Gianna. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did that when we were driving to Florida. Every new state we were in, my mom would be like, we're having a Connecticut party! And we'd be like, okay. Um, when we drive through Hartford, because that's where Richard and Emily Gilmore live. Yeah, it is. I have a video on my phone of Nene explaining Gilmore Girls to Peter after she's had a couple of drinks too many. And it's quite entertaining. <laughs> oh, we are hitting traffic for two minutes. Um, we're trying to work out when the best time to take a bathroom break is. Um, I'm, yeah, probably after this traffic. I'm working on homework back here. We're having a dance party. I'm, if I heard the intro to the next song correctly, it it's going to be Mamma Mia. Well, it's not. It's ABBA. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I always do that with those two songs. Anyway, um great talk <laughs> have you seen um wedding crashers yes. because claire and i do the hey janice great talk to us to each other all the time anyway great talk vlog see you soon hi vlog it's, it's been a, a like 24 hours since we've last spoken we're on the train right now going into new york city um it was late that's it. That's basically it right now. End of story. The end. I mean, it was only like 10 minutes late, but it gave me anxiety. Um, we will check in again. We'll check in soon. But, but we wanted to check in because she's really bad at it. <laughs> um, I'm trying. I'm really trying. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, we'll check in soon. We just want to give an update and um, show that we're alive. We're actually doing something, so... Stay tuned. Hi vlog. Say hello. Hi. Um, something exciting is happening. We're going to show you in a second, but we want to say hello. We're seated. I have one curl. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, show me. <laughs> so excited. The lighting though makes this showing up blue, but I, it's a really deep purple. And this theater is really great. 
So I know that by the time I post this on the vlog, we'll have already made a decision about this, but Christina's having a dilemma. <laughs> Do you see the anxiety I know. in my eyes? And it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, we're currently outside. Hold on, let me turn the camera. Explain your dilemma. We're outside of Sardi's and Aaron Tveit just got his caricature. And I'm, oh, <laughs> I really want to go in, but everything is so expensive. So we're debating if it's, if it's appropriate to just split one it's, thing. It's I'm not, gonna call my mom and ask. It's not a, um, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was interrupted, but I was just gonna say that it's not a cheap uh, menu. Mom, okay, <laughs> Christina, you're being dramatic. Don't scare your mother. I'm not. I'm Don't just, scare your mother. I'm scaring you. No, I'm just being dramatic, but we're outside of Sardi's, which is like a very famous like restaurant for theater. And Aaron Tveit just got his caricature done. Like just done. Like we can see it through the window. And I She goes, really I'm making eye go contact. In. And I, I yeah, can I see it. Eyes with it. I'm and making really, eye contact really with Aaron Tveit. And like just like be there. But we're it's so expensive. We're not so even gonna our, sit near it. So, your opinion on etiquette. Is it rude for us to go in and split one appetizer? <laughs> no? Sardis. S. They don't have a dessert menu up, otherwise I would look into that too. Anyway, Christina's mom doesn't seem to think it's rude. Oh. I don't think it's rude. Oh, maybe. What? Hold on. What? Okay. Uh, that's a good idea. I can call you back. Explain. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Love you. Bye. She was like, just go into the bar and order a drink. And I was like, oh my god, we can do that. Duh. <laughs> now, where are we? We're at Sardi's. And whose portrait did we just see? Erin <laughs> Tveit. All right, vlog. Christina can breathe again. <laughs> we just came out of Sardi's. Delicious. For what we ate, it was really good. Um, and we saw his picture. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. It was I really... think I lost my clip. Your hair clip? Yeah. It wasn't. Oh. It's not in my hair, and I don't remember where else I would have put it. Uh oh. I, it literally was from the dollar store. Oh, okay. That's Could good. Could not be less of a big deal. That's at least good. Oh, we got our my stamp. That'll take like a week to come off. Mine's fading already. I just yeah, I don't know what it is about my skin, but the stamps never come off. Well, maybe I just wash my hands better. Okay, Christina. <laughs> I mean, just do it more often. It's the OCD. Oh, okay. That was sad. That was sad. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go into this theater store now. We're back on the train, ordering dinner part two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god. Why is this half just not not it did not make it in the clip. I'm sorry, buddy. I thought we lost the clip. So. We found the clip. That was in the vlog. Everyone thought you lost. It was on It was on her sleeve. No, it wasn't. It oh. was like this. It was hooked to a button. Oh. But like I literally think it fell out. Yeah. And it just luckily got caught. Um, so yeah, we're ordering dinner part two. We're getting chopped salads, which if you watch the Balloon Festival vlog, I'm pretty sure I vlogged us eating those as well. We stopped at a theater store whose name I don't know. It was like theater... It's right near yeah. Sardi's if you ever want to go. Um, they have a lot of stuff that you can buy at the shows. Um, but there's it's neat in there. There's some cool stuff. I got a cute children's book called B is for Broadway, and it's an alphabet book. And I got a gift for my brother. Cute. And that's pretty much it. Give you a review for six. <laughs> we'll do a debrief. We'll do a debrief when we get home. Good morning, vlog. It's our last day. Sad. Um, I just actually remembered Christina that we never gave our review of six on the vlog okay well that that's something we can do in the car okay um we'll, we'll do that in the car on the way back to Newport but it wouldn't be a vlog 
with Spike and Christina in it if we didn't go to a certain place. Hmm. I bet you can't guess where that is. I can, I can. <laughs> um, so we're headed there. and We're also headed to get Duncan because, you know, coffee's important and I have not been caffeinated yet today. Um, but yeah, we will. I really just thought I ordered it to Memorial Boulevard <laughs> and I would have lost my mind. Oh boy. We did not order. The, for context, Memorial Boulevard is the Dunkin' we use in Newport. And, um, not in New Jersey. <laughs> That's my car Bluetooth starting. Ooh, okay. Well, on that note, we will catch you when we get there. This is the right song for this. We're here! We're proud of Christina for how healthy she's being. <laughs> I'm pretty good, too. But not really. These are mostly my snack stuff. <laughs> well vlog, we went to Trader Joe's. I don't have beef with the employees. Because they were delightful. Because they were delightful. But I have beef with Trader Joe's. They did not have, or they didn't deliver to the store my everything but the bagel seasoned ciabatta rolls. Now, okay, let's examine this a little bit further. You're upset with this store for having given you a product you love so much that you are devastated when they don't have it. Just to be clear. Because yes! Because there's no other <laughs> store that has them. No other store that has them. Um, they give me life. Quite literally kept me going when we took our road trip in October. And... So to be clear, if they were a lesser store, they wouldn't have given it to you in the first place. Just to be clear. Sure, okay, but I'm mad now that they don't have it. Why would they, like, introduce me to this and then not have it? I'm laughing at you. I so know. You, know. <laughs> you have every right to laugh at me, but I'm upset. Okay. I'm upset. Okay. Is this your open letter to the CEO? <laughs> sure. That's, that's what the title of this video is. An open letter to the CEO of, of Trader, Trader Joe's. Forget Six. Forget New York City. It's just about Trader Joe's. <laughs> we are back with Gianna. I'm back. And Christina is back, Dale. Hello. And now that you're stuck in the car for six hours, you must review Six. Oh, must I? Must you. What's the point of including it in the vlog if we're not going to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> and she still doesn't say anything <laughs> I'm waiting for you to segue <laughs> Oh, okay, fine, I'll start, I guess Yes It's a shorter show, it's only like 80 minutes Without an intermission, if that's a selling point for anyone It was a big selling point for Christina cause now Not she... because I wanted it to be shorter No, but, but because, because she... I've lost my tolerance for intermissions Yeah, our school just did The Drowsy Chaperone, which also It was really good it was very good. It also doesn't have an intermission, so that was part of why. Um, each queen is based on a pop star, and it's basically like, well, the costume designer did the um, Spice Girls World Tour, so it, it it's basically like a, a concert tour situation. Um, and they're having a competition to see who had it worse with Henry VIII, in which case that person will be the lead of their band which I enjoyed immensely Anne Boleyn was very funny but I think Anne of Cleves Absolutely stole the show stole. for me she was incredible she was so, so good. good so good unbelievable her yeah peak it was fantastic I did however like the line where um Jane Seymour is talking about how her son had to grow up separated from his mother and Anne Boleyn is like oh kind of like how my body was separated from my head or she's like, Henry VIII was really such a kind soul. And Anne Boleyn goes, you know, come to think of it, he was really kind when he chopped off my head. No, it's, it's, um, oh yeah, come to think of it, there was this one really sweet time where I had a, a baby and then he cut off my head. Right, yes. <laughs> so there's some great comedic moments. Also great songs. I was very clear some of them, who they were emulating, came through very yeah, definitely. Ah, there we go. Others, it was more of like the idea of them. Yeah. 
Um, I will say, I think, um, Anne Berlin, Anne Boleyn, yeah. she, I would say she's the one who hers came through the least for me. What was hers again? That's the point. Oh, it was, um, Avril Lavigne yeah. and another person whose name I don't know. But that's my Lily favorite. Allen. I yeah. think that was the two she was supposed to be emulating. I could see a little bit of Avril Lavigne, but I wouldn't have like picked up on that had I not read it. Right. The others you would have picked up on. Yeah, for sure. Um, she was the one I picked up on the least. Yeah. Still obviously very good, but yeah, her but pop star she, just like wasn't coming through. I would also say her pop star, the closest pop star she related to was Baby Spice. Oh, yeah, I can see that. But I, they couldn't say, like, you're this or this. I would say you could identify each one with a Spice Girl. Yeah, pretty that easily. is true. Like, pretty pretty easily you could do that. Mm -hmm. But that was, hers was the one that, other than Baby Spice, which is the one I felt like came out the most. Yep. And, like, hints of Avril Lavigne, I would say hers was yeah. the one that was most, like, musical theater. Yeah. The other thing, too, is um, Catherine of Aragon and Anne Boleyn were the only two that I felt like were in a musical because, like we talked about, their stories are the only ones that overlap. Everything else is just like, okay, your story starts when this one dies. Yeah. Some of them even had gaps. Like, Anne yeah. Leaves and Jane Seymour, there was a gap. Yep. Um, I don't think there was as much of a gap with um, Cleves and Howard. I don't think so either. By the way, I love Katherine Howard. We had an understudy and she was very good. She was very good. But I, I'm going to talk about the costume elements as well. So both Katherine Howard and Anne Boleyn had their heads chopped off. So they both wore chokers. And... Um, Christina noticed this right off the bat that the order in which they were married to Henry VIII, their heels got incrementally higher. I Ooh. enjoyed that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, there were also like little things like, um, so Catherine of Aragon wears gold. Yeah. They all have a color. Yeah. But Catherine of Aragon's, I guess technically it's yellow if you were to say it's yeah. color, but it's gold. Yeah. And a lot of the reason for that that I picked up on was that she's considered the gold queen yep. because she, a lot of people, not a lot, but yeah. there are people that consider her the only true queen. Yeah. Because she was the only one that he was actually married to in the eyes of, like, the church. Yep. Um, but it was also, like, she was the only, she was, obviously, there's only going to be one first wife. Yeah. I, I appreciated the fact that they specifically put her in gold because of that. Yeah. And then, like, Cleves, I like that she's the only one that has a costume change. Yeah. And a big, oh, I'm losing <coughs> my voice. Um, a big part of that is because she's the one who's known as the, like, the queen of wealth. Yeah. Like, she was the one who. I'm the queen of the castle. <laughs> um, but she's like. She's, she's got like, oh luxury. no, I have to live by myself in a castle in Richmond that I own. Oh yeah, and what's, what's the line? She goes, oh my god, what am I going to do with in my own? Castle with all this money and no, no man, man to, to tell me, me how what to spend it. Or I think it was like, and no man to tell me what to do with it. Yeah. How tragic. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, she was awesome. Also, in House of Holbein, they put on like the very frilly collars and they all have like a neon green strip around them and they wore neon green sunglasses. Very much like um, Germany meets. Yeah, it was a club in Germany, basically. And like when not, they were... Like a, if, yeah. If Elizabethan England. Had like a, Elizabethan Germany. Had a club. Club remix. <laughs> um, and the other thing, too, is because Anne of Cleves' this whole thing um, is that they have a... Is that her portrait was sent to Henry VIII and then he didn't like how she looked in real life. Situation. It was Tinder and they, like swiped left and swiped right until they got to and of Cleves, which was really funny. Um, yeah. She would be really good. Um, Catherine Howard is supposed to be emulating Ariana Grande and, and, 
and Britney Spears. Britney Spears, and I could see Ariana Grande doing that. Yeah. Anyway, great show. Um, good weekend. Gianna, did you have a good weekend? I did. I hung out with my two and a half year old cousin. We love that. Um, so we are going to drive home now and I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video.